All right, and this number 218. Lord, come to my assistance. The Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. O God, whose hand has spread the sky and all the shining hosts on high and painting it with fiery light, made it so beauteous and so bright, who on the fourth day did reveal the sun's enkindled flaming wheel, did set the moon her ordered ways, and stars their ever winding maze, that each in its appointed way might separate the night from day, and all the seasons through the year, the well-remembered signs declare. Illuminate our hearts within, and cleanse our minds from stain of sin, unburdened of our guilty load, may we unfeathered serve our God. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee do live and reign eternally. Jesus took a cup and gave thanks. I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? A cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I made. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, Lord of Jerusalem. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus took a cup and gave thanks. Be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. To the Lord in the hour of my distress, I call and he answers me. O Lord, save my soul from lying lips, from the tongue of the deceitful. O oh, I shall he pay you in return, O treacherous son. The warrior's hair is sharpened, and coals red hot blazing. Alas, that I abide a stranger in Meshach, while among the tents of Kedar. Long enough have I been dwelling with 
those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I seek, they are for fighting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. I will arise and go to my Father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. Happy the man whose offense is forgiven, whose sin is remitted. Oh, happy the man to whom the Lord imputes no guilt, in whose spirit is no guile. I kept it secret and my frame was wasted. I groaned all the day long, for night and day your hand was heavy upon me. Indeed, my strength was dried up as I was a summer seed. But now I have acknowledged my sins, my guilt I did not hide. I said, I will confess my offense to the Lord, and you, Lord, have forgiven the guilt of my sin. So let every good man pray to you in the time of need. The floods of the water may reach high, but the they shall not reach. You are my hiding place, O Lord. You save me from distress. You surround me with cries of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will give you counsel with my eye upon you. Be not like horse and mule unintelligent, needing bridle and bit, else they will not approach you. Many sorrows has the wicked, but he who trusts in the Lord, loving mercy surrounds him. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord, exalt you just. O come, bring out your joy, all you upright of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I will arise and go to my Father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. All things were created through him and for him. Glory to God through the ages. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in life. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption the forgiveness of our sins. It is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In Him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through Him, all were created for Him. He is before all else that is. In Him everything continues to be. It is He who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning.
proclaim the firstborn of the dead, so that privacy may be his in everything. Yet yeah, please God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. All things were created through Him and for Him. Glory to God through the ages. From the letter to the Ephesians. May Christ dwell in your hearts through faith, and may charity be the root and foundation of your life. Thus you will be able to grasp fully with all the holy ones the breadth and length and height and depth of Christ's love, and experience this love which surpasses all knowledge so that you may attain to the fullness of God himself. To him whose power now at work in us can do immeasurably more than we ask or imagine. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, world without end. Amen. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
in Russia, the year of grace 1015, St. Vladimir, grandson of St. Olga. He received baptism with his people at Kiev. He organized a Christian state whose beneficent influence was felt for several generations. At Paris in 1851, Blessed Anne Marie Jaloupe, born near Dijon together with her three sisters, she founded at Chalon sur Son a work consecrated to teaching, which she placed under, under the patronage of St. Joseph. In 1812, the community moved near the Abbey of Cluny, where it then assumed the name of the Congregation of St. Joseph of Cluny. During the life of the founders, the congregation experienced a prodigious growth, even into Africa and the Antilles. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints, whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. We fly with your patronage, O Holy Mother of God, despise us not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. The angel of the Lord, and she can see by the Holy Spirit. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done to me according to thy word. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. To the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.